this is one of the most valuable kind of theories I learned. This theory was taught to me by one of my first mentors in the business. Shout out to Anthony Desario, founder of Connecticut's Bartenders Guild and skilled mixologist and mentor. The elements of a winning cocktail go like this. Until my cocktail satisfies every single one of these standards, I don't have a drink yet. The drink's not complete. The drink doesn't need to go on a menu. Each new cocktail you make, I believe you want to ask at least five people these five questions. The people should be a mix of professionals, professional drinkers, and just a person who's willing to try something. Once you meet all of these five requirements, you have a cocktail that you can make a part of your repertoire. Does it look good? Does it smell good? Does it taste good? Can I finish it? And would I order another one? The look of the cocktail. Is it a beautiful color? Is it in a clean glass? That matters. Does the garnish add something to what I see? When I bring it up to my nose, am I smelling part of that garnish as part of the drink? Are there aromatics going on with the cocktail? The moment of truth. I'm tasting it. Am I liking what I'm tasting? Now that I'm liking what I'm tasting, does it feel like I'm going to explode because it's too rich or too heavy? Or can I finish it? And lastly, and I just talked to a bartender friend of mine, Stephanie Cohen, who prioritizes this, the crushability factor. Can I order another one? Would I have that experience again? If it looked good and smelled good and tasted good and I finished it, but I don't want another one, my friends, the cocktail is not yet a finished product. I would humbly submit that some of us need to understand that on our menus, we've got 12 cocktails that we made, 12 cocktails that we riffed. So if I got 12 cocktails on my menu, what I'm saying is that the couple of hundred years of mixology and the 20 years of modern mixology, everything that that created is worthless. And this thing that I thought of on my wake and bake last Sunday is better than all of them. The next menu that I make, I'm taking the bold step. I'm putting this many of my signature cocktails on the menu exactly zero because I want the staff that I'm training and the public that I'm serving to appreciate the journey and the trajectory of thoughtful cocktailing as told by those other than myself and by those who came before me you now know the five elements of a winning cocktail and you have too much information about what I'm about to do on my next menu because you might not give a damn but I hope it's helpful to you cheers and that is all